Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are in a new series. I have decided to play some Stellaris as well because I can't, I don't want my channel to be nothing but X Universe games and I did start off playing other things. So it, I'll be d working slowly through TS er, X3 Terran Conflict. It, that game's going to require a lot more back work before I can make progress in that. So I'm going to have a few other series besides X4 Foundation, so we're going to do some Stellaris today. Um, I have not I've played a little bit with the new patch, which is quite a bit different. These, uh, this was just a test save where I was testing the um, setup. This is like, I, this save is, I'm dying already. I've lost that save already. <clears throat> Hive mind and my, this is my go-to race here, which is what the save is. What we're going to do, a new race, going to be an uh, author authoritarian xenophobe, um, not xenophobe, spiritualist. Let's see, what do I want to do? For species. I kind of like the dragons, so we're going to go with them. I am not creative, so I'm just going to hit random a couple times. Actually, we should uh, have reptilian names, I guess. Something that I can have a chance of pronouncing, preferably. Okay, we'll go with this. And... Um, Let's go with Deary. Deary, that's a nice, easy one. That's like I said, I'm ingenious. Energy credits from jobs. I like. That's, what do I want to do with? I like tradition. I like traditional. Um, since I'm going to, I'm going to go charismatic, so the other species like me. That might not work the way I think it does. Sedentary. Sure, we'll go with sedentary just for the free pick. Uh, non adaptive, sure, and then something worth two points to balance that out. Actually, we can get rid of that. There's more balance, and we only have one trait point left. Let's go with talented just because I like having the extra leap levels. Once again, I am not original. Carol. Ultra Snod. Sure, and we'll... Dragons, that seems like... Continental Ocean. Let's go with Aquatic Dragons. Dragons should definitely... Dragons should definitely have an avian city with the wings like that. Government ethics, and like I said, I'm going to go with fanatic, bonus spiritualist, or authoritarian. What are the bonuses now? Worker monthly influence and worker output versus. Let's go with that and that. Imperial, of course. And can we get the god emperor imperial cult? Hmm, that's tempting. Let's actually let's let's have a look at everything because, like I said, the new feature is the um, corporate. Uh, thank you, but I don't want to start playing with that quite yet, just because I don't, I'm not sure about the new mechanics. Flavor Guild Syncretic Evolution, no. Life Seated, that's fun, that's a fun one, but let's not do that. Imperial Cult, let's go with Imperial Cult for sure for one of them. Functional Architecture, Guilds, Mining Guilds, Master King, Police State. Oh, that one looks useful. Let's go with police state because of the stability and enforcers producing unity. That sounds really tempting. So, I think I have music off right now. Advisor voice. Faith manages. Uh, let's go with that the spiritualist one. Empire name. I'm blessed, dear Imperium. Okay, we'll go with that. Let's go with a nice, nice friendly flag. Let's say domination's friendly, right? That looks fun. Or actually, is there something more related? Nah, we'll not do that. Go right that way. Secondary colors. Black and red is, is so traditional, so we'll stick with that. Okay, I like that one. Appearance, and I like the avians, and once again, 
Despite we in reptilian spaces, we're going with avian ruler. Rexacure. Rexazir, I guess that would be now. Hexazir. All the X's. Zidlar, okay. Rooms. That's kind of templish. I think that's it, so we'll save that. And we'll jump in. I'm not very good at this game, so yes, I am playing on Ensign. Here we go. We're loading up. And yes, I do not know what I'm doing. I'm not very good at this game. I've never been very good at it. Alright. I'm like I suck at ship design too. Like there's a guide on Steam that I use usually when I want to build save. No, build a ship, sorry. In the eons since the first I should be wearing my glasses so I'm gonna be doing a lot of reading. Uh in the eons since the first primitive dairy communities took shape in the archipelagos and lagoons of Carol, our civilization has spread and prospered. Many false prophets took it upon themselves to offer spiritual guidance to our people as we advance through the ages. But the true faith prevailed. The last heathen strongholds were vanquished after several bloody crusades, uniting us under the holy will of a single divine leader. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of the Blessed Deary Imperium have fi finished the development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Okay, let's turn on the music. Now, let's have a look at where we are. Ooh, we are on the very edge of the galaxy. Okay, so we're going to need to start exploring. I don't want to explore. We're going to explore this way first, just because it's more defensible this way, it looks like. And as soon as we come, we'll build a second science ship to start expanding with. <coughs> yep, still sick. So, uh... Science ship. Research. Uh... Physics research. Pump that up. Society. Oh, no, 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 no. Unity. Always the with unity. And army damage. Okay, resumed. Can I build anything? Precinct. Okay, that's the security building. Where is the temple? We need a temple, of course, first thing. Here we go, temple. We need 200 minerals, so that's four months away. We're going to jump up to fastest. Construction complete. Actually, we're not going to build the temple first. We're going to start gather gathering all the resources in this... Uh, our starting system. Yeah, I played on a four. Uh, I forgot to mention that also four ring spirals. I like just because the defensibility. They, they seem. They always seem to end up being more defensible. Okay, just another month and a half. System survey complete. Oh, did I not see you that pop up? Root. Uh, yes, perfect. Survey system. Construction complete. Oh, another star base. Ooh, size 24 desert world. Uh, as well as with the news of alien romances, these markets are considered definite proof of intelligent, purposeful alien activity at some point in the past. We may still be alone now, but at least we will not be the first to do so. Okay, there's one of our starting, guaranteed starting spawns. That 24 Desert World is nice. Sized. We'll see what um, things it has for um, tiles. Well, tiles are no longer a thing. We'll see what um, deposits it has. Oh, we got the Cybrex plotline for starters. We have discovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Baltrus IV. Incredibly, the civilization, which apparently referred to itself as the Cybrex, seemed to have been made up of machines that were linked together in some sort of collective consciousness. The age of the artifacts indicate they were active some 600,000 years ago, in this portion of the galaxy at least, but we have learned that nothing of their exact origins. According to a partial data fragment that our scientists managed to extract from one of the artifacts, the Cybrex at some point launched a crusade to destroy all sapient organic life in the galaxy for reasons unknown. Situation log updated. Precursors, yep.
Restoring consumer goods into Unity, Society Research, and Amenities. Uh, amen there we go. I can speak English, apparently. Ooh, only 5% habitable on that planet? Okay, we're gonna have to pause this for a minute. Uh, yes, we'll begin the habitable survey. Because I don't know what we want here. City districts provide one additional housing. Because I usually start off on this side and work my way this way. Expansion hasn't changed much. Administration cap increased by 20. That sounds useful. The admin cap, anyways. I do not know. <clears throat> Mining station output increase. Quality development speed. All prosperity will give our planet one. Merchant jobs for 50 pops in addition. We will unlock one ascension perk. Food consumption reduced by 10%. Increased stability. Uh, later in span. Uh, it takes time for uh, to demote to lower stratums reduced by 50. Governor ethics pop amenities usage by 10%. Governor capital buildings and housing buildings provide one. Builder level cap and forces reduce crime by an extra 20%. Reduce worker. Okay, supremacy, star base. This one doesn't look like it's changed much, I don't think. No, it hasn't really changed. That's diplomacy, federation. Okay, and can't. Trade value increased, market fees reduced by 10. Best base trade protection for traders increased by 5. This one hasn't really changed, it looks like. So, yeah, let's go with expansion first, or this. Growth? Yes, there is. System survey complete. I have no idea what, what is that? Grade value. Construction complete. Interesting. System survey complete. Now, why is this so low on habitability? Evading heretics. <laughs> what did we just find over here? Uh, mining drones, okay. Uh, well, we won't research that for a little while. It's kind of nice that- oh, that's not very nice at all. Never mind, we can't get at that little cluster yet, so we'll have to explore this way. And found our other guaranteed ocean world, it looks like. That's not very nice, though. We are not doing bad on minerals, and last time I had a problem with energy, so we'll build a generator district. And we'll also clear out some of this industri these piles, these industrial wastelands. Start on the ocean world, because that desert planet is basically useless to us right now, I think. Also, the three energy. Can build another one of these. Luxury residences. Hollow theaters. Entertainment jobs. Okay. Let's slow this down just so we can actually have a look at this planet. Clerks, farmers, miners, technicians. Specialists, enforcers, artisans, metallurgists, priests, researchers, rulers, administrators. Okay. Got more of that coming. So, 
So, what do we want to build here then? I kind of like having more unity, so I'll complete. build a hollow theater. Build hollow theaters. Do we see our trade value anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Construction complete. Hopefully there's something nice in that little cluster there, because I kind of want to push into that. System survey complete. Evading heretics. Those are probably more mining drones because we didn't get a pop up a 3k mining drone fleet. Interesting. Yeah, I think it's time for us to. Uh... Oh, beta aliens. Well. Up growth speed, yes, please. Time to colonize Baltris. Hazak, sure. Get rid of those slums. Oh, one pop has increased. That's useful. How can we see how much housing is allowed? Max population before we get. Oh, there we go. Housing available, housing nine. Okay, we got lots of space for people. <coughs> so I think it's time to start building some ships as we get our minerals up. System survey complete. Second is crisscrossed by overlapping mineral composite bands that are elevated above the harsh surface by tall, flexible pylons, clearly of alien origin and constantly agitated by atmospheric winds. The pylons sway and the overlapping bands rub together to produce sonic waves at to deary inaudible frequencies. Science officer um, Kabarox reports some trouble isolating this audio from the background, natural background and noise of the planet, but also notes that mineral bands could, should we choose, be broken down and officially recycled by the blessed deary imperium. We're going to salvage those. Lots of minerals. Construction complete. And there's our first colony ship. Anomaly found. Stability. Our capital police did do, 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 do. Effects from high stability. Interesting. No crime. Awesome. Special project complete. Okay, establish a listening post. Oh, that's a hundred month away. No way. System survey complete. Um, Estora, uh, that's six A. No, four A is exceptionally rich in minerals. Minerals that are unfortunately of no use to us. However, science officer Kirzak believes that many elements in the crust of Estora four A can be transformed to potential more useful forms through the positron bombardment. Uh, sure. If it's your idea, you try it. Our colony ship has made a gentle splash down in the planet spanning ocean of Tazak, just off the off sh off the shores of a large archipelago. This fertile island chain will serve as an excellent first landing site. This ship has been permanently anchored in position for its conversion into the administration headquarters of the new settlement. Its reactor core is in process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up on the island surrounding the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first dairy city on an alien world. Awesome. 
Construction complete. Oh, we automatically claim the trade value by having it in the system. Awesome, that's handy. So we're just special project complete. Yes, free minerals. Build that research station. Build more mining. Build a research. Can I colonize that? Oh, I can. It's just not very comfortable. Ah, uh, sure. Jix. Sounds good for the first colony. The second, third colony? Well, the first unpleasant place to live in, in my empire. Previously known strategic resource known as is volatile moats. These pre-natural particles contain a tremendous amount of energy, which could be exploited in energy production, has fuel, or even as explosives. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Sounds good. Well, actually, we want that system anyways. We're going to be going that way. Uh, do I have enough minerals? Yes, I have enough minerals. We are going to build a second construction ship. So we can start expanding out this way as well. So, and we also want to claim this little cluster here for starters. System survey complete. System survey complete. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay. Uh, yes. Research your speed because this doesn't provide unity anymore, which is why I'd always jump for that. And we're not doing bad on energy right now. Well, actually, no, that, that, that building I just talked about would only produce unity with a tech in previous versions. Oh, there goes our third, our second colony ship for our third colony. Well, second colony. Third planet. Special project complete. Space, uh, space amoeba following analysis. Gross misreading of inertial sensor output. The creature is in fact larger than the average Deering Corvette. But as apparent, uh, uh, Orniness further study is warned we can remotely monitor the creature and its kin from Carol. Situation log update. Okay, so that would, these would be the space amoebas right here for the 3k. Construction complete. 80 months, no thank you. Eye for talent, awesome. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Powered exoskeletons. Civilian System fabricators. Artisans turn mineral. Interesting. Nebula refinery, mining station output. Uh, let's go with mining station output. No, you go claim Selnok. Anomaly found. Uh, the Geo of TS six A is dominated by what appears to be armed from a silvery metallic crystal with dimensions never seen before from orbit. They eerily resemble sky curves. Closer study is warranted. Okay. You go claim. Do we have? Oh, we're lacking uh, alloys. So once we can, we should build a thing to build alloys with. Because we have plenty of that. Details analysis of the enormous metallic crystals dominated Nostia 4A is now to defy all expectations. Scientist offer Kabarok is excited to reveal that these oversized crystals are in fact composed of trillions upon trillions of deactivated nanites. Their molecular structure matches no known empire's nanotech. <laughs> there are no known empires. Uh, making their point of origin indeterminate, they may have been deposited on the surface by some unknown spacefarers for an unknown purpose. As far as Sabrox can tell, the nanites compiled themselves into a perfectly orientated crystalline lattice and replicated until a point at which they became deactivated. While the crystals they created do in fact resemble buildings, they are entirely uniform in composition and cannot possibly have served any such purpose. Oh, we can't harvest nanites from that thing? Because I saw up here. Nan. Oh. Yeah, nanites are uh, one of these strategic resources now. Can you build here now? Yes, you can. Construction complete. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two. Okay, say so we want to expand up that way so we can claim this little cluster here. In fact, let's do that. System survey complete. 
Construction complete. System survey complete. Construction complete. This not get collected all oh, right. Oh, it needs a planet or a star base to collect it, I think. Maybe oh, an upgraded star base. We'll see and we'll see about that trade value in a bit. The spirits have yeah. granted us new this wisdom. One. Food from farmers, uh, lockers. Let's do that so we can get more food income. Uh, oh, we've encountered our first um, alien life science vessel, I think, or is those space whales? That's a science vessel. Uh, we will let them. Actually, we should try to make contact with them first. The faithful have claimed a new world. Okay, now let's interest our dominion. Consecrated worlds. Uh. Uninhabited, uninhabited planets up to three increases spiritual ethics attraction and empire one as well as you we will save that one for later instead of learning no shared destiny uh interstellar dominion sounds good construction complete Oh, okay, this is a sector. All oh, right, sector's now automatically determined now. An alien empire now speaks to us in the language of the divine. Xenophobic isolationists. Okay, fanatic xenophobe pacifist. Okay. That's not bad. We share the same divine heritage. Let's be friendly to start off with. The news that we've encountered intelligent life for the first time is received with mixed feelings by our populace. This confirms that what we have long suspected, we are not alone in this galaxy. Each new species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. These particular xenos have a level of technology similar to our own, indicating that we achieve spaceflight of roughly the same time. Construction complete. Oh, they get this nice. They got that nice little pocket. So we're just gonna have to go clean these two systems quickly then. Anomaly found. Ideology. That's not bad. <clears throat> unfriendly attitude. Of course. Yeah, they're unfriendly. Construction complete. A new faction that calls itself the Citizen Elite. Oh, we have factions. We should have a look at these. Uh, further scans of the machine is still operational, although its purpose remains entirely unclear. Scientist Officer Cabrera has never seen anything like it. Some of its materials look familiar, but most are strange and utterly alien to the design of its components. The machine is what appears to be a console with one item in particular standing out a large, crooked lever of unknown material. Well, of course we're going to pull that. It's unclear what happened when the machinery's lever was pulled. Its console flickered, powerful vibrations could be felt, and then a wave of energy surged from the machine, expanding outwards into deep space. The scientists close by felt this wave push past them, but experienced no other sensory evidence of its passing. Scientist Officer Cabra uh, Cyberox is unsure what to make of it. The machine itself returned to its inactive state immediately thereafter and no longer returns any energy readings. Uh, research the machine. What more long term benefits than enemy? Just jump. In order to make an energy reach from a nearby source system has been observed, our scientists are working to read about what could have caused such a prestigious energy pulse. The common hypothesis appears that it be a supernova or unlikely a tear in the very fabric of space time, such as a wormhole. The scientist Officer Cabrog has pointed out the the that this curiosity occurred soon after the activation of the stirring machine found on Z9GR784. We should make a hasty ex to explore in the nearby system, such as Lazon. Okay, where is Lazon? Construction complete. Construction complete. Oh. 
uh, we want. Um, Abatellus. Name as much territory as we can. Complete. And we will stay at peace with these guys for the immediate future, if the they will let us. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Administrative AI. Uh, laser technology, of course. More weapons are always good. System survey complete. Oh, we need more. Yeah. We need more of this stuff. Consumer goods. Uh, let's just do like this then. Or what? I don't know. Uh, we will wait for one of our planets to have um, buildings available, I guess. Or we could just... Oh, we could straight building these straight away. Yay! This planet's not very good, to be honest, Hazak. Let's build one of these. Okay, now what? Mining station output increased. Administration operation. System survey. Uh, sure. Let's go with prosperity. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Unemployed pops. Okay, well, we're building a uh, city district that should provide jobs. Yeah, it provides one clerk job. Construction complete. Alloy and metal forges. That will be useful. We need alloys. Now let's see. Oh, can we upgrade this straight away. Oh no, we need two more. Uh, two hundred. We need a lot more allies. Al alloys, not allies. Construction. You would never be able to tell my English. Engl that English is my first language. The way I speak sometimes. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.